Today I'm going to be drawing a koala. Follow along. Let's see. This is day eight of my 30 days drawing challenge and I'm going to draw this, a koala. So let's get started. Uh, if you're watching guys on TikTok, make sure you follow us please. Uh, we're doing a 30 days drawing challenge. This is part of our YouTube series. You can find us on our YouTube channel as well uh, at XB Pen. And I am a beginner artist. I'm not even an artist, but I'm just showing you guys how to learn to draw digitally uh, day by day, okay? So today we're gonna be following this lesson about how to draw koalas. And uh, the first step that we have is to draw balls. Now these balls are gonna be um, serving as how to study the, the texture. So the reason we wanna draw these balls and practice here with these spheres is because we want to get familiar with texture. Now when drawing koalas, we need to get good texture. So we're gonna do three spheres here, as perfect as possible, as always. There we go. That's the best I can do. And get a third one here. Draw with your, what they, what they say, draw with your arm, not your wrist. I think for the spheres, it's kind of easy to do that. For lines, I find it difficult. All right, those are my three spheres. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's get started. So the first step uh, to practicing some texture, oops, I erased that one. I didn't want to erase that one. <laughs> Actually, I made three separate layers here, uh, and I kind of want to respect that. So I'm gonna just grab this. Whoops, my bad. So I'm gonna grab the selector tool, grab this one, command X, and paste it on number two. I'm gonna grab the selector tool again, select this one, command X, Oops, it's, it's in here. Command X, select it, go to ball three, paste it there, okay? So we don't have a, a problem now. We're gonna go ball one. And we wanna start with a light texture on, on this guys, okay? So this one's gonna be not so spiky. So we're gonna grab a brush to do this, you can buy it there. Now, of course, it depends on where you live. The, uh, the shipping fees are gonna be different and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make small, in sections here of, um, okay, I, I see. I think I'm getting that texture. It's not particularly spiky, but it, it is getting there. It seems like a ball with a lot of fur on the outside. I think if we create another layer for this, it would be even better. Or if we just lower the color just a bit, so it's not as intense as the outline. Could have done that before, okay. Okay, that'll do it for the first one. So for the second one, we wanna to try to do it with sharper. So we're gonna lower our brush to the minimum that we can get. So let's lower our brush size to one and make them longer maybe. Again, this is gonna take a long time. What if we go in the opposite direction? They don't all have to go in the same direction, right? I'm wondering.
Uh, so if you have any questions about this tablet, this is the Artist 16 second generation that we're using here. It's a graphics display. Uh, it's got buttons on the side. These buttons, they help you, for example, if you want to zoom in, if you want to use the space tool to, you know, navigate on your drawing, on your canvas. And all of these keys are actually customizable. So you can go and select the shortcuts that you most prefer. They come with the uh, default ones, I think, are pretty good already. But if you're used to using different commands, you can perfect that for your liking. Okay. I'm happy with that texture. This one is a more hairier bald, I think, than the first one. And for the third one, I don't know what difference to make for the third one. What if we make really sharp? Which I think the second one was supposed to be really sharp. And what if we go even darker now? Black. Oops. I forgot to change the ball. So let's go to ball three. Brush. There we go. And if we press the pen harder, we get a thicker line because we're using a brush with pen pressure. Very important. Okay. All right, I think that's it. Let's zoom out here and see what we've done. Okay. All of them are different, so I'm happy with that. They're just different textures. We're kind of to one side. There's an easy fix for that. If we grab all of the layers, ball one, ball two, ball three, grab all of the layers, go to the select tool, hit the control T, hit the, uh, this navigator tool, move tool, and just move it to the center. Cool, easy peasy. We can also make them bigger if we want, like that. Now, on the second step, So for our second step now, we're gonna add a light source and we're gonna do some shading. Now I put the shading on just one layer. So I'm gonna do the shading all same for all of them. So I'm gonna get a bigger brush and possibly change the brush here to something different. Why not something like this? I'm curious about brushes. I would love to use a different brush. I just don't know what to use so far. Mm, I'm participating with the Salary giveaway. I hope I can win. I'm really ex preparing brand. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, uh, so tomorrow, not, not tomorrow, but this week we have an important giveaway and it will be hosted by Salary. It will be on Thursday, if, it, if you're in Mexico or the US, and it will be, yeah, it will be a blast. It'll be really good. Salare is an influencer. She's from Mexico, and she uh, she's really good at what she does. So she'll be reviewing your, your drawings and giving you some feedback. To participate on that, uh, all you got to do is post one of your drawings. Uh, it doesn't have to be a new one, by the way. It can be something that you already posted, but you need to repost it with two different hashtags. One is XBPen17, and one is XBPen Salary, something like that. You can find the details on our TikTok. Okay, what do you think about that? Not bad. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit on that. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't like it. Because the shading should be the same texture as the um, as the other one. So we're gonna go back to the same brush. 
And yeah, I'm afraid so far we cannot use another brush. Yeah, we're gonna have to stick to this bad boy here. Make it small, maybe two, three. And darker, yeah, we're gonna make it darker. So now we're gonna grab the Natch tool. For the Natch tool, we don't wanna make it so big. Probably for the Natch tool, we're trying to create a similar vibe with the, for the Natch tool, right? So only moving up and down, the same direction as the lines. There you go. Yeah, this is fun. This is all the training for a koala. Let's see if we can get that koala later on. All right. All right, pretty happy with that. Hmm, don't know much what to do about this ball two here. Kind of crazy. Ball two. Okay, that is ball two. Uh, I guess we can add a few strokes here and there. Right there. It's just a few hairs that really came out for no reason. <sighs> ball three, I'm not gonna even touch it that much. I'm not gonna lie. I'm rushing this because I want to get to the koala. <laughs> I want to get to the koala already. Okay. Gonna make a little pause here. All right, that's, that's it. That's it, that's the best we can do. So, gonna grab all of this and Control J, duplicate them and right click merge layers, that's what I like to do. And, and then I like to hide this, Control G for create a group. There you go. That, those are my balls. Uh, let's just call this one balls texture. So the balls with texture. And then we're gonna go ahead and start with our koala. Okay, we're gonna bring a brief pause here. We're gonna cut it, 
do the koala right now. Okay, we're just gonna start with the koala. So we have some pictures here of the koala and we're gonna try to be drawing one of these guys here. So we're gonna start with a sphere for the head. Okay. And we're gonna draw the ears. Aren't they cute? They're pretty cute, huh? Look at those. Okay. Seems like the ears are not that huge. I think that's okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do the outline for the nose. So I guess somewhere in here. Let's do some reference lines here. I hear that you have to divide the type in ref reference. Guys, let me know if you guys like the koala so far. Gonna do some reference lines. I have no idea how to do these reference lines, by the way. I'm just guessing. So I'm gonna go back to the koala outline and do the nose on this part of the face. Does the nose come down from the mouth? Am I done? All right, that's gonna be the nose. I put the eyes right at right on the side of the nose. Okay. That's it. Very round eyes. And they have the same eyes that goats have. You see? They have those eyes like this. Like uh, the pupils are sort of Kind of like that. All right, and then the ears. I'm gonna do uh, some stuff for the ears here. So ears, apparently they have this one line here, one thingy here, and then one thingy like that. Thingy here. Oops. Um. Something like that. Don't quote me on that. In fact, let's redo that one. Okay. Guys, you should follow along and uh, do your own drawings for 30 days. All right, this is day 30 here with the koala. Welcome, Sophie. Welcome, Kensel, to our live stream. I love it. I just want to have chat here. See, I just want to see people on the chat. Okay. Um, what else? What do we have here? So now we're gonna start with the texture of the koala and then we're gonna do some shading. All right, so the texture is similar to what we were doing before with the balls. So we're gonna do just that. So.
This is not difficult, but it's very time consuming. All right. Oh, we forgot about the shoulders of the uh, of the animal. There we go. Let's continue with the texture. Question for you, chat. Have you ever drawn a koala? All right, almost there. Koala. This is day eight, guys, of the 30 days drawing challenge. We've come a long way. And the next lessons are gonna be getting harder, progressively harder, drawing structures like houses, faces, flowers. This is a very complete course. And it's from a book called You Can Draw in 30 Days. It's meant for traditional paper and pencil drawing, but we are using our graphics tablets. You can use it with your pen tablet, of course, with pencil and paper as well. So I'm going a little bit harder here on, on the ears. I think they need more shadow. There we go. Cover things up a bit. So for the outline, we have to erase these lines here. Off the face. And the texture, we're also gonna erase here, this part of the texture. Not so much the ears, but this part. There we go. Hey, hey. Okay, we're getting there. Koala has monster voices says one of our friends. Now, do they now? That's a fun fact. I am a koala. What is the voice of a koala? What is the name of this koala, by the way? So we're gonna leave a little place there for reflection, that one. Go round dot. I'm gonna make the pencil a bit bigger here because we don't want to spend forever on the nose. Okay.
Okay. Hi, Psycho Robin. All right, all, all is details from now on. I think it's all is detail from now on, so. Can I get um oops? See that here. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to put it as a reference, move it up, and then on outline, I'm going to do it again. More texture down the sides. Okay. This is a bad koala, bad koala. All right, this second layer of texture is giving it a lot more character. So I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's giving it, it's giving it. What happens if we take out the outline? And just we do pure texture here. As a matter of fact, I would like to take out the outline, the outline and just keep the face. We're gonna do that. Select the outline. Actually, we're gonna go with the lasso tool on the nose. Okay, we want those eyes. Control X, bring it back up to a new layer, paste it. Now we can say goodbye to that outline here. We don't need it. We just go to texture and if anything, apply a bit more texture there. And we still haven't done that shadow. Okay. So. Let's go with the last step here. Add a light source and cast our shadow. 
So I'm going to go here first, and cast a shield shadow here. Because there's a little shadow over there. More shadow around there. Shadow on the nose. Shadow everywhere. our account here on TikTok. We are gonna be doing this every day. All right, everybody, that was day eight of the cool koalas. As you can see here, we went from this picture to this drawing. You know, we could do better. So tomorrow for day nine, we're gonna be doing something very hard. So stick around guys and I'll see you tomorrow.